Hey everybody, I wanted to show you my newest creation. I call this the hydroponic rain tower. This one is five feet tall, but you can also make them eight feet tall. And this one right now is growing 12 heads of lettuce in a one square foot area. So it's kind of like square foot hydroponics. Um, it took me quite a few weekends to plan and film all the step-by-step -step directions, and I'll put that in a video coming soon. So let me give you a closer look on how this thing works. Well, this whole unit is made out of PVC. The main tower is made out of 5 inch by 5 inch PVC fence post. And um, let me give you a closer look here. There's 3 inch PVC pipe that hold the net pots diagonally into the unit so they get sprinkled with the nutrient solution raining down inside the tower. And this is kind of an aeroponic system because there's no air pumps and the roots get their oxygen by dangling in the air. Here I am at the top of the tower. This lettuce here is 26 days old from seed and you can see how nice and healthy that looks. And going down the tower the lettuce gets younger and younger. I staggered the days of planting the seeds so that I wouldn't have 12 heads all ready to go at once. And um, down here at the bottom I'm going to plant a new one today and I'll show you how I do that. Let me show you the way I put these net pots in. This net pot here, I modified. I took a soldering iron and grooved it here and here. It's flexible now. And I just stick it in the hole. It goes in real easy and rests on the lip of a 3 inch PVC pipe. And just take a little bit of hydrogen. And here's my lettuce that's going in. This one's past due. You can see the roots. I hope it survives. It should. And then, uh, let's fill in all around it. And there you have it. This lettuce here is about 17 days old, and I wanted to show you in back of it before it got too big and you can't see this, is the hydrogen in back of it gets splashed and the lettuce just soaks it all up, loving it. And you can hear how quiet this thing is, it kind of sounds like it's raining outside. And it's kind of relaxing. Okay, taking a look in the hatch of the reservoir. There is an Eco Pump 264 in there, and that pump can pump nutrient solution 6.5 feet into the air. And uh, we only need it to go 5 feet because that's how tall a tower is. And then attached to the pump is that tubing. And the tubing runs up the middle of the tower to the top of the tower where it rains down on everything. All right, to add nutrients to the system, I have a little pump going in here. It's an Eco 132, and I just lift up the lid, add it this way, and I could take this little pump and stick it in the bottom here and clean up the system the same way. Let's take a look at the top of the tower in action. You can see it's hinged here, and this cap opens up, and that protects it from rain or dust or whatever can get in there. You can see it's filling up and there's little holes in there and it rains down the nutrients all over the net pots all the way down the tower. And I also check my PPMs up here. It should be about 350. Yeah, it's about 350 hovering in that area. And I also hinged it on the opposite side so that I can open this that way. You can, well, you can see it raining in there. Here's the timer that I'm using. It's a mechanical timer made by LED wholesalers. This timer can turn on for 15 minutes and then turn off for 15 minutes all day long. And uh, it was hard to find a timer that would do this, but that's what my tower needed because it turns on and off every 15 minutes. And the plants love it.
Well, I covered how the rain tower works and final thoughts. You can fit a lot more plants vertically than horizontal. So if you have limited space like a greenhouse or you don't have that big of a yard, you can fit quite a few of these and get a lot of plants. But I figured I'm growing under these two metal halide grow lights here and I can fit 18 of these units under those grow lights and uh, produce 216 heads of lettuce in about 35 to 40 days. But I'm not in the lettuce business, so I'm not going to be doing that. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll post the video up soon on how to build this thing and templates that you can download, etc. So until next time, take care everybody.